It's a fantastic 72 degrees outside, and I'm standing in a cornfield that's about ready to have a planter pull in, and there's not a planter in sight. Hi, I'm Greg Souter from 360 Yield Center. You know, we talk about positioning seed for success and making every ear count. It comes down to even stands. In this case, the reason we have three planters parked at the shop is that we're looking ahead 36 hours from now. So for Saturday, they have a high of 56 and a low of 39. And I've always been telling other corn growers that information drives knowledge. And what I'm referring to, those kind of cold morning temperatures brings us a lot of anxiety. So when we talk about a seed being planted, it takes its first drink of water through the pericarp in 36 hours. It doesn't matter what the soil temperature is here at the moment. I measured this field, it's 63 degrees at two inches. It's in 36 hours that it counts. If we take water temperature less than 50 degrees through this pericarp, we are gonna stun this germ and we're gonna corkscrew and spin these seeds out. And so for our operation, we're gonna be patient today and we're gonna set this weekend out so we can get good stands. Now how do you and I know how each and every one of these seeds are ranked? In this case, we test all of our different seed. It doesn't matter which brand it is. We wanna know the potential of this seed when it comes to stress. We send it to a seed lab and we get three things tested. Saturated cold germs, accelerated aging, and a pericarp score. In other words, how many fractures are in this seed coat, which would concern me when I use starter on the seed. When the tests come back this year, I was not pleased. It doesn't matter which corn we're talking. All the major brands, we're looking at what is each individual hybrid rank. My low hybrid this year was 62%. In other words, of the 200 seeds that I sent to the lab, only 62% of them grew when they held them in a 50 degree soil for seven days. On the eighth day, they warm it up to 80 and they count what germs. The best seed that we had in our lineup this year was 94% with a, with a cold germ of 99. When we go back and look at that saturated cold germ of 62, its cold germ was 67. And so these are things that you and I have to know. Because as these seeds, that makes a tremendous difference. The one that's 94 saturated cold germ would grow in a snowbank. And the good hybrid, one of the best yielding hybrids we got that's ranked at 62, would hardly grow on Daytona Beach. And so these are things that we equip ourselves with knowledge so we know when we're gonna plan into a weather event with some rain or cold weather. We're not surprised three weeks from now when we look at some really tough stands. So in our case, we're gonna let the planters park till the following week when the temperatures warm up because we're all about getting each and every plant up and getting the absolute best ear count that we possibly can. Thank you.